So we're here at the site of Alatri. This is a part of Lazio. It's like a hilltop ancient town. And the whole town is surrounded by massive polygonal walls said to be built by the Saturnians or the Pelasgians. Even another translation is the Titans, as in the Titans of ancient Greece, because Saturn, according to the Romans, was linked with Kronos, who was the king of the Titans. And you can see why this might be so because of the size of some of these rocks is the only way to explain how they could have moved and created these massive polygonal and cyclopean walls. So we're just outside a latry again. We've seen some of the walls. We've got more here. There's a huge stone here. You can see right behind me, it's absolutely massive. Just to get a sense of the scale. We've got cars driving by. This is a busy town, but this wall here is insane. It's just got such large blocks, so beautifully put together. And you can see people have kind of put their own kind of houses within it and built windows within the space. So let's have a little look at this. So we've got this mega stone, which really is big. Look how beautifully put together they are. You can see the scale of it with this car, for instance. And up here, you can just get a sense of the scale of some of these blocks here from Altery. Absolutely amazing. And then we have this great entrance here, which we're gonna walk through. This entrance looks like it's more modern, probably Roman, I would imagine. We've got JJ in there. You can just see some of the, the scale of some of the blocks in here are pretty amazing. You can just see that compared to JJ there. These are massive chunks. And just here, look at some of these. These are just what's left of the wall here sloping down out into the main area out there. Absolutely amazing. And then up here as well, we have these just built into the wall here, into the cafeteria. Absolutely stunning. And if we just take a right turn up here, down Via del Grotto, again, we have massive megalithic blocks everywhere you look. They do get a little bit smaller as you head up into town, but we're going to get into the center of town and see what else we can find. Let's get up close here and have a look at some of these, because you see this is actually a corner here, a very slight corner. You can just see quality of the stonework. You obviously got this later tower that was added. The quality of the stonework here is absolutely amazing. I'm just stepping back so you can get it all in. But just a, it's just identical to Peru and uh, even Turkey. Whoever these people were, they were very good at creating polygonal stonework. I mean, the similarity to Peru and Bolivia, pretty, pretty obvious. And you can see the way it's been sliced, almost like, like a slice of cheese, just that right clean. So they placed all these rocks here in these really beautiful, very sophisticated way. Then they managed to slice them clean. And you've got to remember this whole city, this whole town has these around it. And so this is the one of the routes up to one of the entrances into the town. And you can see the cornering here is really quite impressive. We've got some rough rocks here, part of the bedrock, and this looks like it's been sliced out, just this little piece here. But you can just see the way these are put together. It's really remarkable. And then you get these later round towers, probably Roman. And then here we've got the massive lintel. Look at the size of this. That is absolutely massive, like 12 feet across, eight feet wide, over 50 tons at least. Just on the inner edge here, you can see the beautiful polygonal stonework again. 
even behind here we still have a few examples in this little cave area Get more walls around the base of town. It's been badly weathered, people shoving their kind of rubbish and stuff inside it, but still it's just immense. So we've got two levels, one around the base of town, then one up in the main part of town, which we're going to go to shortly. But it really is quite amazing, whatever you think. And it continues further down here. We actually were just at this sort of castle like round building earlier and I believe there's more walls just down here and it's worth just checking these out because you never know you're gonna find some kind of anomaly or realizing that I need to do something about my polygonal wall addiction because it's getting a bit much but yeah you can see that that tower's obviously been built built later and these have been these are part of the ancient side of the town and look at these blocks they're just incredible i mean that's a that's like a you know stop sign and everything and then you just look at some of these stones next to that it's just to get a sense of scale i mean this one here this is the main one in this wall this is like 10 feet wide at least something strange just there which you can just see it's like a 3d relief carving like we find around the main acropolis above the lintel there so was this part of a lintel was this part of some kind of carving 3d relief carving of some kind of creature i'll let you decide that but i'll get some shots so you can make a more informed judgment of what it could be it looks like some kind of figure walking to the left to me the head's kind of missing I'm not too sure but it's there and it's worth checking out and we're just continuing up further up the hill JJ's just found a few more here and we can see more blocks a whole bunch of them all through here obviously the smaller stones here but much larger ones still at the base could have been some kind of strange entrance like a v-shaped entrance but we continue up even further no doubt there will be more still continue look even behind these cars here continues up even further Just walked from that down the hill we just walked uphill to this now this isn't quite in the acropolis yet well it might be actually it might be one one side of it in fact but look you can see huge blocks here these look really badly weathered like they've been here for thousands and thousands of years absolutely stunning so similar to various parts of peru and bolivia it's just it just gets weirder and weirder. So we just walked up the hill here and just towards the Acropolis. We're not actually at the Acropolis yet. That's a bit further up, but just even walking up one other side of the hill, it shows you there's multiple levels. There's more than two layers of these megalithic walls. You can see these ones here are huge. Some of these are like 20 feet wide, must be over 30 to 50 tons on average. And it just shows you 
that you know the, the evidence is so strong that there was a very powerful megalithic culture back here in prehistory creating these megalithic cities and it's so similar to Cusco we have to question was it built at the same time was it built by even the same people or certainly influenced by the same people because the styles and workmanship are so similar that it's kind of freaky it's just uh, freaking me out a little bit the fact that we're finding them in Spain in Greece um, Turkey and other places as well um, and even in like Japan and, and potentially other areas of the world like Albania and so forth it does suggest that this was a tradition that was known around the world and the tests that have been done on it are quite interesting because there has been quite a few tests done regarding um, earthquake proofing and when you put mortar between these stones and, and some you know tests in Italy have been carried out they found that they didn't function properly they kind of broke eat they broke apart easier if there was an earthquake or any kind of tremor but when they're like solid blocks just placed next to each other stone to stone it creates this sort of um, grip almost uh, with each other and if they're polygonal and irregularly shaped they kind of just hold each other in place much more so than just standard square blocks and so there is something to be said about the design but how and why would it be used in different parts of the world by different cultures and different periods of time it's a big question mark over these incredible sites and to find so many of such abundance such size in Italy is quite astonishing extremely large stone you can just see here we'll just continue around the side here we're now in this sort of Acropolis part of Altari here in Lazio so again we're just scanning along the wall here now we'll, we'll give you a sense of scale in a moment but you can just see the sophisticated way these are all being put together now these are not small blocks I mean, there's some extremely large ones actually just up the top there some of these are at least 10 feet wide some 15 feet wide or even more so we're gonna have a walk around the whole area and that's the doorway with the famous carving which is what we've seen in one of the old inscriptions one of the old illustrations of this particular site so absolutely delighted I've actually spotted that and you can see that just here so this JJ's just pointed out this massive stone here you can see that and then this is one of the ones in the doorway with the carving but then in here this is actually one of the ways up you can see there's massive blocks actually inside here and this is like not dissimilar let's get the camera in there to get a sense of scale and uh, this is not dissimilar to some of the mega blocks we find in Sardinia, it kind of reminds me this interior does. So you can just see behind me this huge lintel that's over this ancient doorway. Now this is the one from the old painting, the old illustration of Altari. Now this is up on the higher level, this huge wall here behind us that goes around the top part of town. Isn't the one that we were down at before. We've already looked at the one down at the bottom part of town. We're gonna go and have a further look at that. But this is absolutely fascinating because it proves again that they were doing 3d relief carvings here in ancient italy the polygonal wall builders potentially the giants so the design above the the lintel on the doorway from the you know which is also featured in the old illustration is quite interesting it composes of three phalli which could represent um, the southern cross constellation or so it's thought but nowadays, due to procession, you can no longer see this in the sky. And this would have only been seen several thousand years ago. So if that is the case, and that alignment is correct, and the symbolism has the correct interpretation, it does suggest, like we find in Malta, Menorca, and the Naraji's of Sardinia, that they were orienting to this particular part of the sky. So we're just taking a walk along the edge of the wall at the Acropolis, the higher part of town in Altari. So we're just checking it out. So we're just, you know, please make a note if you see anything on the video of interest, where to pause and have a look. There's so much to look at here. It's hard to 
take it all in in one visit I mean there are some beautifully cut stones much like we find in Peru obviously this actually reminds me of part of Machu Picchu especially with stones like this but let's continue we're walking up a bit further up higher into town see if we can get other views of the site so we're just taking a corner here yep no doubt much more polygonal <laughs> walls as you go around absolutely incredible stunning now, like in Peru they're blending it in to the bedrock which is a uh, which is identical really because you get this is exactly like you actually get at Machu Picchu where you get the bedrock and at Sacsayhuaman sort of the bedrock combining with the massive polygonal stone blocks. So we're on the very top part of town, again, beautifully cut, precision placed, megalithic blocks again. This is a part of the street called Via Gregoriana. And we're going to continue around, go further into town, see how far we can get, see how, how far these walls actually go. Because they just never seem to stop. Yeah, so it looks like we're actually just walked around the whole edge of the Acropolis now. And we'll, we'll go around, we'll walk all the way around it so you can get a sense of the scale of this. So we're just walking along the southern wall here at Eltery and uh, some of it's been damaged here. There's not so much polygonal stone here. But one of the things that Giovanni Fio, Gary Billcliffe and others have noted about Eltery is that there are potential astronomical alignments here. But it seems it was some kind of astronomical temple and you can start to see again the massive polygonal blocks here behind me. And so whoever built this, and it's still unclear, is, you know, they were definitely working with astronomy. They were working with geomancy, they were working with other intricate stone masonry techniques, clearly, as we can see here. The point zero is the basis uh, for a number of geometrical relationships which are incorporated into the geometric plan. For example, the gates of the city are on opposite sides and are equidistant from zero. The main astro astronomical alignment is from zero to the northeastern corner of the Acropolis. This is the alignment of the rising sun on the summer solstice. Other astronomical symbolism also appears to have been incorporated into the orientation and the shape of the building. Its east and west walls, for instance, are perfectly north-south. It's also been argued that other alignments indicate the bright southern stars of the Southern Cross and Centurus are part of the design. Its shape also is thought to represent Gemini because it's been shaped very differently from the actual hill it's created on. So we're just continuing along the south wall at the top part of Altery, the, the Acropolis, which is on the outside of the Acropolis. And we're just walking down the full length of it just to give a comprehensive view of it. And both myself and JJ, the, the more you look at this, the more you just can't help but think the Romans were correct and giants actually did this because how on earth would you do this? It's just remarkable. And I think the traditions of giants here, the actual accounts that Jim Vieira and I have collected does suggest indeed there were giants here and there was a race of them. And here we have the famous three doorways of Altery and you can see the first one here and then the other two just there and the bells are chiming. Just at the base here is like ten, eight feet wide each one and you got beautiful doorway cut out solid rock and it just gets more impressive.
So this is the main entrance into Altery here and just look at the size of the lintel there. That is like 20, you know, maybe 18 feet wide. That is stunning. And then the wall continues down to this side, which is over, what, 40, 50, maybe 60 feet tall. And it's just the megalithic blocks just don't stop. So just under here, just at the main entrance to Altery, you have this kind of large sacred pool carved out of solid rock. No doubt this was ancient when maybe the rest of the site was built. So I was going to take a walk up the, the steps. But this is absolutely stunning. So we're just going into the main entrance here. But this lintel just here is one block going all the way back probably like 15 feet absolutely insane and then the blocks on the side here are huge this is just gets it gets crazier look at the size of these these are even bigger than the ones on the outside this is a this is serious megalithomania here in ancient Italy almost looks like they've this was actually a niche and not an entrance. As you can see, the rough stone compared with the beautifully cut stone kind of changes right where I'm standing. Then you have the mega lintels up there. Look at the size of those. That's like something, it's like the, something you see in the relieving chamber of the Great Pyramid. It's so big. It is unbelievable. And we can look over this side as well. You get a sense of the scale again. Some of these blocks. Unbelievable. And they go all the way up there. This is a whole different level to what you expect to find in Italy. So this is the back of the tops of the polygonal wall on the south and uh, eastern side of the great temple of Altari. You can see that they're kind of rough hewn on the back. They're not precision cut because it's not seen. And so why would you need that? But on the outside, they are precision cut. And they're absolutely amazing. And up here, they transformed it into like a play park and a cafe, some kind of a church. The church or cathedral which sits on top of a latry uh, is interesting because it's actually built upon a megalithic polygonal platform and you can actually see some of the stones but most of them are kind of locked behind gates or covered up but it does appear that there was a kind of structure on top now we find this at some of the other Pelasgian megalithic polygonal wall sites in this area um, of Italy so it does suggest that there may have been some kind of temple or astronomical observatory right on top where the cathedral or church now stands so even the church here it's almost like polygonal walls are depicted on the doorway in some of the biblical paintings it's quite interesting even the walls there show polygonal kind of shapes and so it's interesting they, they've noted that So we now continue down around the eastern side, we're just on the southern eastern edge now. And this is where, this is ridiculous, this is like 60 feet tall at least. Absolutely amazing. And the walls just don't seem to ever stop. And there we go, and they go all the way down there. Absolutely amazing. Then 
there seems to be two layers here. We have the layer in the back, the main wall here, and then we have another one here below. So they were really, really working hard. Well, the ones behind do seem rougher, so this probably would have been the one, the wall that was exposed. And then as we walk around the corner here, you can see some of these rocks here. Look like bedrock, actually. And they've kind of built the walls around them, much like we find all over Peru, actually. Even in Cusco, Sexy Wuma and Machu Picchu. So we're now down on the northern side, back to where we first came up. And just around the corner down there is where that lintel is with the 3D carving. But still, look at these. This is just worth noting the magnificence and quality of the stonework around the entire Acropolis of Altery. Thank you. 